from this episode that almost ended 5,000 kids to this one that had James acting way too sus. These are 18 Pokemon episodes that got banned. And before we talk about this killer episode, we gotta talk about the biggest episode in terms of plot to get banned. This episode is also kind of a killer one because a gun was put to Ash's head. Yeah, I'm talking about the 35th episode of the anime, The Legend of Mini Roo. If he didn't do that, this episode wouldn't have gotten banned in the United States. And there wouldn't have been a huge continuity error because this episode had Ash catch all 30 of his Taros. Did you know he didn't stop at pointing a gun at Ash? Oh boy, he even went ahead to shoot a Team Rocket. This is a kid's show for God's sake, not some Western movie. And he isn't even the only one that tried to off someone. Producers of this episode attempted that too because tell me why would they send this many kids to the ICU by giving them seizures? You've probably heard about this one before in my previous video, but I left out the part where this was caused by Pikachu. Yup, during one scene of this episode, Cyber Soldier Porygon had Pikachu stop some missiles with his Thunderbolt attack, but stopping the missiles led to a very large and quick sequence where lights flashed at 12 cycles per second and vividly on the screen. Some of these lights were even strobe lights that flashed more than 12 times in one second. This scene caused a total of approximately 685 Japanese kids, 375 girls, and 310 boys to be sent to the ICU. And this scene also caused the episode to get banned in every country in the world. But this next episode was banned only in South Korea. Uh-huh. They banned it because there was a samurai in it. I know, it's crazy. The name of the episode is literally Challenge of the Samurai. What were they expecting? <laughs> Just like the episode where this guy pointed a gun at Ash, this ban also caused a continuity error because this is the episode where Ash's Metapod evolves to Butterfree. Apparently, South Korea frowns upon any references to Japanese culture, even though it is a harmless depiction, like the one in this episode where a kid named Samurai drips like a samurai. And South Korea would also frown upon a character dripping in not only samurai attire, but also in traditional Japanese clothing. That's right, South Korea did not hesitate to ban this episode called Erika and Kusaihana. It was banned just because of the traditional Japanese clothing that Erika wore in the perfume shop. This episode is pretty important because in it Ash obtained the rainbow badge, so banning this episode also caused a continuity glitch. Speaking of glitches, did you know a glitch in the Matrix once got an episode to get banned in your country? See, the 101st episode of the Ruby and Sapphire series, Shaking Island Battle, Dojack vs. Namazoon, basically revolved around a bunch of wish cash causing an earthquake. And it was scheduled to broadcast on the 4th of November 2004. But 11 days before this episode aired, the second deadliest earthquake to ever strike Japan struck Japan. Because of this earthquake, Quake, the producers of the show thought it would be really insensitive to air an episode that was about earthquakes just mere weeks after the disaster. So they pulled the episode from the air and never aired it anywhere in the world. Not only did this episode get banned, the moves Earthquake, Fissure, and Magnitude also got banned and have never been used in the anime ever since. Just so you know, this is the first regular episode of the entire anime to never be aired at all. And how would you know that if you didn't have me? <laughs> but did you also know that this wasn't the last episode to get banned for earthquake related reasons? That's right. Two episodes that would have had Team Rocket face off against Team Plasma were banned because of the devastating 2011 Tohoku earthquake. The episodes were the 23rd and 24th episodes of the Black and White series, and they were set to air on March 17th and 24th, respectively, in 2011. But they both got delayed because one of the episodes had a scene where Castilla City was being destroyed, and that low-key resembled the Tohoku earthquake that had just happened just 12 days before the episode would air. At the 
time, this episode was going to be aired on a much, much later date because it was just too good of an episode. But ever since this episode got delayed, it has never aired and I don't think it will ever be seen by anyone. But get this, while these episodes were simply skipped in Japan, the Pokemon Company International edited the dub version of the previous episode of Venipede Stampede to remove the cliffhanger ending that set up the story. So by the time Team Plasma finally appeared almost two years later, the episodes have been removed from the storyline. So if I were you, I wouldn't wait for this episode anymore. I mean, they've already made the scripts of the episode public and detailed the events that would have taken place in them. But you know what else was made public? My channel, where I supply you with the best Pokemon content out here. So subscribe or I will ban you from my channel like they banned the Tower of Terror episode. This is the only episode on this list that got banned just because of its name. The Tower of Terror is the 23rd episode of the anime and it got banned in the US exactly four years after it aired, specifically after 9th September in 2001. Because the episode's title may or may not have reference to you know what. At least they took away the ban after some time and that's kind of the same thing they did to the episode Tentacruel and Tentacool. You see, this episode got banned not once, but twice. The first time it got banned was after the devastating events of September 11th in 2001. In the months following the attack, Kids WB did not air the episode again because there was a scene where Tentacruel smashed a skyscraper and another scene where this guy used a machine gun. However, when Cartoon Network started to air Pokemon, this episode was put back into rotation, but it got banned again four years later because of Hurricane Katrina. Uh-huh, you heard me right. They banned it again because it portrayed a city flooded underwater, just like Hurricane Katrina did to New Orleans. They later lifted the ban on Tentacle and Tentacruel, but I can't say the same for this episode that got banned in Turkey. You see, this episode, The Song of Jigglypuff, had a scene where gambling took place, and gambling is illegal in Turkey. No way Turkey was having that. I'm not sure if Pokemon intended this to be a joke, but Turkey did not find it funny because they banned it forever. And that's not the only joke a country banned a Pokemon episode for. This is the bicker the better. And it got banned in France, Ireland, Aruba, and several other countries because of its battle of the sexes theme. Believe it or not, this sort of turmoil has been going on between a man and a woman since the beginning of time. Yup, most of the plot centers around men versus women. Take a look. Ash versus May, and James versus Jesse. And Jesse and May even formed a team to battle against Ash and James. This episode also features one of the most famous gender exclusive Pokemon, Nidoking and Nido Queen. Did you know this is the only advanced generation episode to be banned? Did you also know the episode Ringmasters in Johto League Champions was banned in South Korea? That's right, Kim Dae Young banned it because it focused on guess what? Sumo wrestling, an old Japanese traditional style of fighting. If you think we're done with mentioning South Korea, you'd be wrong. They also banned the episode called Doing What Comes Naturally. The episode had a fortune telling show similar to Shinto tradition. Damn, South Korea needs to chill on banning these Pokemon episodes. I mean, it's just an anime, I mean. Did you know South Korea is the country that has banned the most number of Pokemon episodes? Yup, and 95% of the episodes that they ban are because they reference Japanese culture. They even banned the episode about with Sprout because the Sprout Tower resembles traditional Japanese architecture. I don't think that's a good reason to ban an episode. Neither do I think banning an episode because the narrator got arrested is fair. Pikachu and Pichu is the seventh Pikachu short where Ash and his friends celebrated the first year anniversary of Ash's Pokemon journey. But did you know this is the only episode on this list that only Japan banned? And why did Japan do this? Well, because the short's original narrator, Sakai Noriko, got arrested in 2009 for being in possession of drugs. And by drugs, I don't mean Salveo weed. <laughs> Listen, not only has a narrator gotten an episode banned, a certain Pokemon has also been the reason an episode was banned in the US. And can you guess what Pokemon I'm talking about? It's Jinx. Even Ash himself has caused a ban too, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> you see, after 
the episode Holiday Hijinks aired, a woman named Carol Boston Weatherford voiced her concerns in an article, pointing out that Jinx is a negative stereotype of African Americans related to characters in the story of the Little Black Sambo. As a response to these criticisms, the episode was swiftly removed from rotation. Subsequently, it hasn't been believed to have aired again since the year 2000. The episode was later edited in Japan in 2012, and Jinx's skin was changed to purple as well. Hold up! Holiday Hijinks wasn't the only episode that Jinx got banned. The episode The Ice Cave was also banned due to the large focus on Jinx, whose purple redesign was not used in this episode. 4Kids even once said that on the Serebi forums that the episode will never air because the character of Jinx happens to be a controversial Pokemon in America that some find offensive. Unlike the previous episodes, this one has never aired in English. It got banned and has never been seen outside of Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. Remember how I said Ash has gotten an episode banned? Uh-huh. This episode from the Sun and Moon series was wiped from the face of the earth because Ash wore dark face paint resembling black face during the second half of the episode in order to imitate the appearance of a Possemian. Do you think they were being way too serious with this ban? I mean, there was a clear reason why Ash was painted, and it couldn't be misunderstood in any way. It wasn't even misunderstood when it was originally aired. But anyways, we have finally arrived at the episode that deserved every ban that it got. This episode was initially banned when the episodes were first dubbed for airing in the United States. It got banned because James wore an inflatable bodysuit to give him large breasts in order to win a beauty contest. And look what happened. <laughs> it's a show for kids. You really didn't have to do this. That's not all that happened in the episode. You see, in the original Japanese, an elderly man stared at Misty some type of way and said that he looks forward to having fun with her in eight years. Huh. I wonder what he meant by that. Do you think they made a mistake to ban these episodes? Well, why don't you check out this video where I went over 50 worst mistakes you didn't notice in Pokemon. I know you see it on your screen right now. Trust me, it won't disappoint you. See you there!